So it's been a project, but I got it painted, which is quite funny because I used less paint than my brother did. Um, but I did stop partway through, run to Home Depot to grab more paint. I'm gonna wait until tomorrow because this isn't the best lighting. Um, and when the sun's out just right, I can do all of the seams. Um, but I think I got quite a bit done. I'm pretty proud of it. Um, only made a couple minor errors, if I do say so myself. Um, pro tip, I learned this from painting. If you remove the blue painter's tape while it's wet, way easier to come off. Um, but I'm gonna let this sit for the night and then work on it some more tomorrow once I get done with work, cause yep, I work. So I have been trying to learn to sew and I wanted to do a zipper pouch and it went okay until I went to um, press the fabric and I've been testing it a billion times and I melted it so that was lovely after testing it it still melted so then I was really discouraged because like, I got a hole in my outside it just like was not the best but a good practice it's a pencil pouch so then I went in hard and it actually came out like pretty legit. It's like awesome. So proud. And the Arizona weather is at it again, being very, very weird. So I just planted my three artichoke plants that I got the other weekend. Um, watered these guys. I'm going to do some cleaning up in here. I'm not sure how much longer certain plants are going to stay alive with the change in the weather. So we'll see. Um, I need to hose some of them off too because I'm getting a little infestation. Um, but I'm going to keep going at it, do some cleaning up, and see what I can get done today. I just failed horribly. Horrible, horrible, horribly, all the way, failing. I've been working on this, my first sewing project, well not my first, but very, like, first extensive sewing project, and the hardest part for me was getting these uh, buttonholes just right, put this nice trim on here to help tighten it up. Did, I'm really proud of my trim job. And then I try it on, and I go to stick my hand in it, I sewed it upside down. Okay, so it's been a while since I've been out here in... Oh, such a cute little birdie. It's been a while since I've been out here uh, working in the backyard. It has been weird weather. On top of that, it's been just weird in general. Um, holidays, different things like that. Um, and then we got rain, so now the ground's really gross. It's just been weird. Um, so I'm going to get out here and try to do some winterizing because we're supposed to get freezing temperatures this week. This is fucking Arizona. I don't want freezing temperatures. So I'm going to start working. I'm going to start off with checking out my worms and go from there. Okay, so I'm playing with my worm bin right now. And I'm so excited because I'm doing something right. Let me show you. So that little dot and that little dot. Are, oh, and down there, there's some. Those are worm cocoons. So those will create more um, worms for my worm bin. And I was just turning it a little bit, um, checking on everything, seeing how the soil is. I think it's at the point where I need to add a little bit more um, material to it, not food necessarily, but give them more stuff to move around in. So just investigating it. They've really been eating on this side of my bin because when I move the paper over here, you can tell. They haven't been eating on that side. Oh, look at them go. I'm just so excited. I can't believe this. 
So what I didn't show is I added a bit of peat moss, which is what I have on hand, but I did learn about cocoa core and the difference between peat moss and cocoa core. So eventually I'll be switching to that once I'm all out of the peat moss I have here. Um, but I kind of rotated um, the worm castings because I was curious what was on the bottom. Like, did they eat that cardboard I put in there? Like, what's going on? Well, it was really wet. So I added some dry peat moss into it to help kind of soak up some of that water because they can drown. Um, so I'm going to leave it. I was really happy with the amount of eggs I'm seeing. Like, so I'm really happy with the amount of eggs I'm seeing. I was not expecting that. I wasn't expecting eggs for a little bit longer. Um, so all in all, I am really impressed with my capability to farm worms. So... I need to do some more research and I'll post about it, but I do believe I should have those eggs that I'm seeing should be hatching in a couple weeks, which will mean I'll have even more worms to where I can divide my bin in half. I did forget to add um, something hard. So you add something a little bit coarse. It can be sand or whatever. I choose, I ground up some eggshells. Um, we use a lot of eggs in my house. So rather than just racing them, throwing them in the compost bin, I, sh I oops. I grinded them and I just go ahead I put it in a little shaker and sprinkle it on the top um, and I do think that this has a different effect um, some people use rock crushed rock different things like that I like the calcium I'm having good luck so far with it I am 110% guilty of forgetting what I plant not labeling properly because my little labels were just the ones that came with them with the thing on them I made labels never put them out here but I thought this thing was just like some random pepper plant. Come to find out, it's my other bell pepper plant that I thought died in the beginning. Hmm. Learning. Okay, so it's been an interesting day. Um, the sun's going down quicker. The sun's almost no longer hitting my garden. So now I'm having to reevaluate winter crops here and what that's going to look like. Um, I still have some peppers on my pepper plants that I want to try and leave and see if they'll grow a little bit. I did get some more soil covering my garlic plants, which I'm going to get the hay drying so I can put down some hay. Thinned out my carrots, discovered my chihuahua. Thor loves carrots. Yeah, lots of peppers, um, for me at least, what I've gotten all year. So I've learned a lot, and i got to take Grandpa to the store now.